Well, thanks for visiting us this morning at ArcleTech7Page.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses with your Monday morning forecast update. Pretty decent chance you'll see some rain today. So as you kind of head outside, tuck the umbrella away. Probably will not need it early this morning, but I think it will come in pretty handy again this afternoon as well as this evening as the rain. It was uh, out quite a bit of it yesterday, but we should have a lot more out there through the afternoon and evening today. Good news is it gets here early enough that it will be a warm day, but not too hot. I think the rain will hold most of us in the 80s today. No severe weather, but uh, could see a lot of lightning with the cells that are out there. So once again, it's the sea breeze that will be really active today. We really haven't seen too many changes to the weather pattern here in the past few days. We still have this frontal boundary that's just north of us, and that continues to draw in all that air off the Gulf of Mexico. So you can see all the uh, clusters of storms going along the coastline today. Eventually, this is all going to drift to the north, especially as we start to warm up. So I think we'll start to see some rain in some areas this morning, but uh, it'll be kind of most wide spread through the mid to late afternoon today. You can see your temperatures starting out in the mid 70s, so a pretty warm and humid morning here. Anytime you get the wind going about 10 miles per hour on a summer morning, it's a pretty good indicator that the sea breeze is going to be fairly active that day and the winds continue to roll to the north here. So you'll feel a little bit of a breeze today, which will feel pretty nice with the warm temperatures, but it's also that breeze which is going to push the rain in a little bit later today. So 89 for a high for both Shreveport as well as Texarkana, even some mid 80s north of I-30. So uh, again, the rain getting here early enough, it should provide us a little bit of a cool down. So temperature is coming in a little bit below average today. But it's this big ridge of high pressure. You can see it's uh, basically keeping things dry in the east coast, but it's the wind that goes uh, kind of clockwise around that ridge of high pressure, which is dipping down into the Gulf of Mexico and really kind of sending the rain towards us. And this is a pattern we'll actually see for much of the week here. So uh, look at your Robbins Toyota Futurecast for today. Again, kind of lightly scattered with the rain through the noon hour today, but you'll see this pretty good wave of thunderstorms coming through the afternoon and evening so the rain will be pretty widespread later again a lot of this driven by the sun that warms us up here so once the sun goes down tonight we should see the storms dissipate somewhat and once the sun's back out tomorrow we'll see some scattered storms again but I've actually dropped the rain chances a little bit through the middle of the week the rain will still be out there kind of like it was this weekend but we're not expecting uh, the activity to be as widespread Tuesday Wednesday or Thursday so look at the rainfall this week we are going to close out the week with a pretty decent chance of rain uh, Friday Friday, Saturday, and maybe into the 4th of July. So Futurecast is showing some 1 to 2 inch amounts with the isolated spots picking up maybe 2 to 3 inches of rain. Again, we'll spread this out over 6 to 7 days, so this isn't likely going to cause us any issues here. And again, the severe weather threat should be fairly low through the week, but we'll see quite a bit of lightning with the storms uh, all the way through the weekend. So again, we'll probably dry out a little bit here Tuesday through Thursday, which will to let our temperatures go back into the 90s but with rain chances picking back up Friday Saturday we should cool into the 80s and it looks like this front that's passing through uh, late this week will be far enough south I don't expect we'll see widespread rain on the 4th of July but it will probably be out there with highs uh, right around 90 degrees